retire. Well, the father from Stone is preparing to do just that. Former university professor Michael Goodwin's planning on sailing his yacht, Blue Star, on a two-year challenge around the UK. That has been inspired by his adult son who suffers from cystic fibrosis. And Michael joins us this morning. And morning, Michael. You've got a, a T-shirt with cystic fibrosis on on there. So tell me a little bit about this Blue Star GB challenge. Good morning, Jodie. Um, yes, Blue Star GB Challenge. Uh, it's a project, um, I suppose, came about partly because of my love of sailing and wanting to find a new sailing project to get involved with. Um, having sailed with friends over a good number of years off the south coast of England and over to France and so on, uh, I wanted to do something different. Um, so partly it's related to that, and uh, partly it's also related to the fact that I wanted something to good to come out of this uh, um, experience. And um, as you say, my, my, my son has cystic fibrosis. Um, fortunately, he's reached adulthood, but many sufferers don't reach adulthood. Um, so I wanted to uh, use this as an, e an exercise to raise some very badly needed funds for the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, the charity that's set up to find uh, new treatments for sufferers of cystic fibrosis and ultimately a cure, of course. Now, it sounds really exciting. Two years. Tell me a little bit more about it. So, how's it all going to work? Right. Well, um, it, it first started off when I had a, a sort of inverted commas good idea to uh, <laughs> sail, sail around, <laughs> something like that. Yes. <laughs> sail around the coast, and uh, I asked uh, one or two, well, all the friends that had been sailing with me to uh, to see if they would like to join in with something like this. And uh, there, there seemed to be a sort of deafening silence to start with, <laughs> all except from from one good friend, Roger Colmer, who also thought this was a good idea. Uh, and so the two of us have got together to, to buy a boat, uh, the Blue Star, and the idea is that we'll take friends who want to come and sail with us uh, for a week or more, uh, and instead of chipping in to pay for the higher charge for a boat, which is what we've done previously, uh, I'm asking them to, to think about giving a generous contribution to the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, so that, that's one of the ways in which we're looking to raise some money for the Trust. So you're going to set off um, from Southampton in May, and then you, what you're going to do is what, sort of go around the coastline of the UK, is it? Yes, the, the, the plan is to, first of all, to put into a marina most nights, uh, wherever that's feasible. Uh, we'll be sailing from Southampton uh, eastwards along the south coast, uh, then up the east coast of Britain up to Inverness, uh, and then passing through the Caledonian Canal to the west coast of Scotland, uh, and then over north of Scotland, and once more back through the Caledonian Canal, and then down the west coast of Britain and back to Southampton over a period of two years. So it's a figure of eight kind of course that we're following. What do you think is going to be going through your mind when, you, when you're out on the, sh on the boat? Well, um, lots of things go through your mind. I mean, uh, you, you're with... Uh, the rest of the crew, first of all, so depending on the circumstances, you might be having a, a, a bit of a, a, a talk and a laugh and a joke and so on. Um, obviously, safety is very much at the forefront of your thoughts, um, and keeping the boat under control, dealing with any hazards that you're going to come across, navigating, uh, all of those kinds of things. Uh, and also thoughts of home do come to mind as well, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be thinking of my wife and my family and my son Dan as well, and uh, wondering how they're getting on. Will your son be able to come and join you at all? Well, um, I mean, it's one of the things he, the sort of thing he would have loved to have been involved with, and he has sailed with me in the past when he's been younger and healthier, um, but unfortunately he's probably not going to be healthy enough to join us on, on this particular expedition. Um, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. And how's your wife feeling about all this? <laughs> well, I, I think she thought I was crazy to start with and uh, thought I'd, I'd never do anything like this. But now she realises I'm even more crazy than she thought because <laughs> I'm making it happen. <laughs> so, uh, no, I, th I think she'll, she'll miss me and uh, uh, hope I guess other members of the family feel the same, but um, it, it's hopefully going to be worthwhile because we'll be able to raise lots of money for the Cystic Fibrosis Trust. Great. So you're hoping, with a, well, you've got a target at the minute of, was it, £6,000? Yes, we've got a target of £6,000. That's uh, 
uh, what we started out with and, and thanks to the generosity of friends and family that have already donated we're, we're up to uh, three thousand pounds and beyond already actually before we've even set up off so i'm hoping that we'll easily reach that target and exceed it by a good amount uh one of the ways i want to raise a little bit more money is by inviting employers who'd like to place a big advert on my boat either on the hull or on the sails uh, to contact me with a view to doing that in exchange for a donation to the charity so if there are any employers out there do get in touch with me Brilliant. Oh, that's great. And I know that we'll be able to follow your progress with lots of blogs, videos and a website yeah, as well. The, the, there's a website, www.thebluestar.co.uk. Uh, from there, links to my blog. Uh, also, some slides showing examples of adverts on yachts, if employers want to have a look at those. Uh, contact details uh, and so on. And... Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from individuals as well that want to get involved Fabulous. with this. Oh, brilliant. Can I mention also my main sponsor? You'll see underneath my T-shirt, I'm wearing a jumper that says on it, Wool Cool, which are uh, a local company uh, specialising in packaging materials, packaging products. So if anyone wants to talk to someone about packaging, do get in touch <laughs> with Wool Cool. And you can't do that as an advert. You're not allowed to do that. Well, I won't say that. Can't can't do that. I mention also Stafford Coastal Cruising Club. You've you not got their T-shirt on no, underneath that. Got 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 on. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come and hear about this project first hand, come and see me at Stafford Coastal Cruising Club. Perhaps when we have the visit of Tracy Edwards later on this year, Brilliant. which will be a fantastic occasion. Oh, as well. well, Michael, do keep in touch with us and good luck. Look Given that you're to halfway it. towards your, your target, Michael, I am inherently lazy. Why don't you just go around the Isle of Wight? It's <laughs> <laughs> easier. Start off from Southampton, round the, maybe stop off at Portsmouth, then go on Marina. Yeah. Then you'd be all right. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to interview me then, would you, Stuart? <laughs> <laughs> Local man sails around the Isle of Wight. Shocker. Have you got your wallet with you today, Stuart? Uh, funnily enough, I haven't. <laughs>